I was born in Sudbury, Ontario, Canada, 2007, April 13th. I think three words that would describe me is activist, artist, and powerful, because that pretty much sums up who I am. This is an open letter from you and me together Tomorrow's in our hands now Find the words that matter, say them out loud I make it better somehow mm. Looking down from up on the moon is a tiny bloom
Sophia Mather and I'm a youth activist and an environmental lobbyist. I use my creativity to get people to take action on the climate crisis. Hey, look, we're getting a phone call. Hey, Sophia. Hey, Charlene. Hey. Hi, Cooper, Hannah. How's it going? Are you guys at the summit yet? We just got off the train, but we're headed there now. How's your Fridays for Future meeting going in Washington? Look at these amazing parachutes that we're looking at. They're called Parachutes for the Planet, and they are like yeah. awesome for awareness. They're part of the Mother Earth Project. Sounds right up your alley. We can't wait to see you soon. Bye. Have a great time. of extreme heat and rapidly spreading wildfires. 103 degrees in downtown Los Angeles, 112 in Burbank, as climate change continues to yield record temperatures. Get out of the road! Relax, dude. Have you been around? Have you done your share of coming down On different things that people do? Have you been aware You got brothers and sisters who care About what's gonna happen to you In a year from now Maybe I'll be there to shake your hand Maybe I'll be there to share the land That they'll be giving away When we all live together Talking about together now Maybe I'll be there to shake your hand Maybe I'll be there to share the land That they'll be giving away When we all live together 
I'm talking about together now When the paper landed in your yard Do you know their names? Can you play their games Without losing track And coming down a bit too hard Oh, maybe I'll be there to shake your hand Maybe I'll be there to share the land That they'd be giving away When we all live together We're talking about together now Maybe I'll be there to shake your hand Maybe I'll be there to share the land That they'd be giving away When we all live together We're talking about together now Dear future generations, I think I speak for the rest of us when I say, sorry. 
Sorry we left you with our mess of a planet. Sorry that we were too caught up in our own doings to do something. Sorry we listened to people who made excuses to do nothing. I hope you forgive us. We just didn't realize how special the earth was. Like a marriage gone wrong. We didn't know what we had until it was gone. For example, I'm guessing you probably know it as the Amazon desert, right? Well, believe it or not, it was once called the Amazon rainforest and there were billions of trees there, all of them gorgeous and... Oh, you don't know much about trees, do you? Well, let me tell you, trees are amazing. I mean, we literally breathe the air they are creating. They clean up our pollution, our carbon. They store and purify water, give us medicine that cures our diseases, food that feeds us, which is why I'm so sorry to tell you that we burn them down. Cut them down with brutal machines, horrific, at a rate of 40 football fields every minute. That's 50% of all the trees in the world gone in the last hundred years. Why? For this. And that wouldn't make me so sad if it weren't so many pictures of leaves on it. You know, when I was a child, I read how the Native Americans had such consideration for the planet that they felt responsible for how they left the land for the next seven generations. Which brings me great sorrow because most of us today don't even care about tomorrow. So I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry that we put profit above people, greed above need, the rule of gold above the golden rule. I'm sorry we use nature as a credit card with no spending limit, overdrafting animals to extinction, stealing your chance to ever see their uniqueness or become friends with them. Sorry we poison the ocean so much that you can't even swim in them. But most of all, I'm sorry about our mindset because we had the nerve to call this destruction progress. Hey, Fox News, if you don't think climate change is a threat, I dare you to interview the thousands of homeless people in Bangladesh. See, while, while you were in your penthouse nestled, their homes were literally washed away beneath their feet due to rising sea levels. And Sarah Palin, you said that you love the smell of fossil fuels. Well, I urge you to talk to the kids of Beijing who are forced to wear pollution masks just to go to school. See, you can ignore this, but the thing about truth is, it can be denied, not avoided. So I'm sorry, future generations. I'm sorry that our footprint became a sinkhole and not a garden. I'm sorry that we paid so much attention to ISIS and very little to how fast the ice is melting in the Arctic. I'm sorry we doomed you, and I'm sorry we couldn't find another planet in time to move to. I am... You know what? Cut the beat. I'm not sorry. This future, I do not accept it. Because an error does not become a mistake until you refuse to correct it. We can redirect this. How? Let me suggest that if a farmer sees a tree that is unhealthy, they don't look at the branches to diagnose it, they look at the root. So like that farmer, we must look at the root and not to the branches of government, not to the politicians run by corporations. We are the root, we are the foundation, this generation. It is up to us to take care of this planet. It is our only home. We must globally warm our hearts and change the climate of our souls and realize that we are not apart from nature, we are a part of nature. And to to betray nature is to betray us. To save nature is to save us. Because whatever you're fighting for, racism or poverty, feminism, gay rights, or any type of equality, it won't matter in the least. Because if we don't all work together to save the environment, we will be equally extinct. So. Hey guys, for the past several weeks, I've been here in Africa, the heart of Africa, witnessing the horrific destruction of the rainforest, which inspired me to write this piece. Why are forests being destroyed at such an enormous rate? For this. Today we live in a world where destroying trees makes you money. So what can we normal people do about it? 
One way to directly fight the destruction is to stand for trees. By standing for trees, not only can you save the lives of trees, help forest communities, and protect the rights of animals to live in their homes, but you will also balance the amount of pollution that you yourself give off with your everyday activities, making you a part of the solution and not the problem. This is the option that I chose. But whatever way that you choose to stand for trees, do it. Because a wise man once said, when the rivers are all dried up and the trees cut down, man will then realize that he will not be able to eat money.
trees means no more me Time to stop burning those fossil fuels If we don't want to be fossils too Burning fuel causes air pollution It's time to embrace a greener solution Large scale farming plays a big part Billions of cows means a whole lot of farts We need change, it has to be drastic Cut the production of single use plastic Three million years human evolution Two hundred years industrial pollution One one last chance for a green revolution It's time to rise up, get our act together This is so much more than changes in the weather And we say no, no, no more wasting time And we say no, no, no more wasting time It's time to rise up, get our act together This is so
When I met you, I was so young. I didn't know that it could fall apart. Tell me what do I do? Now I see what we've done, and I know that it's true. You gave me nothing but love. Activists who are starring on a new TV show called Citizen Kid. It's tackling one of the biggest problems our planet is facing right now climate change. Everyone can truly change the world. Citizens of Earth! Our first act of activism is to care. And kids everywhere! It can't be solved by one person or even by one school. Join four special activists. Take action. You got this. You are not alone. Let's make a difference. As they take up a cause that affects us all. Young people are the key to changing the minds of older people. On a special World Environment Day mission. We need everyone's help. Hi, I'm Sophia Mather. I'm a youth climate activist, a lobbyist, a dancer, an artist, and a Friday to Future organizer. So, Sophia, you've been known to ask tough questions, um, some questions that people might have a hard time asking um, in order to stand up for what you believe in. What questions do you think kids should be asking right now? I think that kids should be asking adults, why not? Why are we not taking action? Why are we not doing this now? Um, they should be asking adults, what are you doing to protect my future? Because adults can't just sit around, watch the news, say, oh, that's a problem, and then just go on with their daily lives. They have to actually do something. They have to take action because now the youth are taking action. But it's not just the youth, it's the adults who have to do something. So I have another question for you, Sophia. I know that you met Greta Thunberg. Uh, what was that like for you? M meeting Greta, I mean, what she says is so, so powerful and it really has an impact on politicians and it really wants to make people take action. And so when I met her, I was like, oh my goodness, Greta, it's you. <laughs> and, um, and like, I gave her a big hug and I was like, it's such an honor to meet you. When I was seven years old, I started lobbying politicians, talking to them about how we are in a climate emergency. The politicians were very surprised to see that I overcame like fears and intimidations to come speak to, to politician, politicians in like humongous government buildings. Um, but sooner or later, they realized that I was there for my future, and they started to listen to me, and they started to feel empowered. And that ended up with Citizens Climate Lobby, um, the group I was lobbying with, changing the rules to allow more youth um, younger than 16 to uh, lobby politicians officially. Um, something that I personally do is go out to strikes and rallies 
because the public needs to be educated. We are educating politicians, we are educating youth, but we also need to educate the public and make sure everyone knows that we're in a climate emergency. Um, after we did all these strikes and rallies, the greater city of Sudbury, where I live, declared a climate emergency. So that shows that um, those sort of actions can actually make a difference. Um, something that a lot of people don't realize is that a lot of people think that once you're in the movement, you can't take breaks. But if it gets hard and it's really hard with your ego anxiety, it's okay to take a break. It's okay to say, okay, I am doing too much. I need to take some time, spend some time with my family. And yeah, I mean, you're allowed to take breaks because dealing with climate change and the climate crisis, it can be really hard sometimes. Paradise and put up a fucking line with a pink hotel, a boutique, and a swinging hot spot. Don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you got till it's gone? It'd be a paradise and put up a fucking line. They took all the trees and put them in a tree museum. And charge the people a dollar and a half to see them No, 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 don't it always seem to go That you don't know what you got till it's gone You'd be in paradise and put up a fucking lie
fossil fuels will be history. Our worlds will keep on turning as we stop the. Climate change, climate change is what we are facing. Climate change, climate change is not gonna bring us down. We gotta fight to unite and work to save our future. If we all get together, we can change back climate change. Let's say goodbye to fear as we unite. Then hope. Near, as we clean our atmosphere for bluer skies and oceans clear, our world will keep on turning. As we stop the fires from burning, climate change, climate change, climate change is what we are facing. Climate change, climate change is not gonna bring us down. We gotta fight to unite and work to save our future. If we all get together, we can change back climate change. The clock keeps ticking, ticking away. It's got the human race on the run. But we know there is just one way. Mother Nature needs us forever. We're one human family, and planting seeds will set us free. Let's work in harmony, and climate change will be history. Our world will keep on turning as we stop the. Climate change, climate change is what we are facing. Climate change, climate change is not gonna bring us down. No, it won't. We gotta fight to unite and work to save our future. If we all get together, we can change back climate change. If we all work together, we can change back climate change.
the world doesn't own.